Good morning from the grist mill. Another day, another project here at work. So this past weekend, we had our annual apple day. And we were really fortunate to have all sorts of different varieties of apple come in uh, to be a part of our event. Well, one of the reasons that we love doing this event so much is because we have our own orchard with a lot of different varieties of apple in it. Now this particular uh, collection right here are the apples that we managed to get from uh, our main orchard, which is up top. And every pile you see there is a different kind of apple. Now unfortunately, before I got here, the record keeping wasn't fantastic. So we know what some of these apples are, but we don't know for sure what all of them are. And one of the nice things about Apple Day is bringing together apples from elsewhere, from other orchards, and then being able to take them and compare them. Now there are some that we're, we're pretty darn confident about. This one right here, for example, is a golden russet. I'm pretty sure, because it looks like a golden russet, it tastes like a golden russet, and funny enough, on the map I've got, it says golden russet. If we take that and compare that to the golden russets we got from somebody else, yeah, they're a pretty darn good match. There are lots of others here though. We're still working on figuring out. They're quite beautiful and very different apple to apple. Grimes Golden, Egremont Russet, possibly the Pandozi apple, the first apple uh, variety planted in the uh, Okanagan Valley. So today's project is to go through each and every one of these apples, to photograph them, to taste them, and to uh, document everything that we can while also comparing it to all of our known varieties over there. Now, that's not going to answer many of these, I'm sure, because of course there are thousands of varieties of apples. And uh, there's no way that we got lucky and found from other orchards all of the exact same ones. Still, the better we document, the better people in the future can help us in trying to figure out what some of these are. We are sure they're interesting heritage varieties. The people that came before me were nerds that way, were very enthusiastic, so I have no doubt that they picked well. But uh, we're going to have to figure it out. Now on top of all of this, which is the older orchard on site, we also have a newer orchard there's a few more varieties sitting over here, including these monsters. Look at how big that is for an apple, eh? These were planted by the person who ran the site immediately before me, who unfortunately didn't leave me any notes. So I'm also going to trust that some of these varieties are interesting, relevant varieties too. Uh, but we won't know for sure until we can identify them. In the meantime, we've got lots of cool apples of all different shapes and sizes. And the best part about all this is that we get to taste them all and we get to enjoy them for what they are. I mean, some apples, this one right here, the Cox Orange Pippin, is a legend. People who uh, have grown up with a Cox Orange Pippin tree in their yard know that they're an amazing fresh-eating apple. If you're a baker, you might know about the Caville Blanc which is uh, a wonderful baking apple. If you've ever had a, an apple tart in Paris, you probably had that apple in it. We have the snow apple, also called fameuse. It's called that because the flesh on the inside is absolutely white. We have here two different kinds of wine sap apples, the stamen wine sap, and uh, another, I've got to go look up the name, We've got, of course, the good old Spartan from the grocery store. We didn't get it from the grocery store, but you can. Macintosh from our 100-year-old tree here on site. Uh, varieties like uh, Akani, Rubinette, Honeycrisp, Newtown Pippin, Winter Banana, Pink Lady back here, although Pink Lady actually should have 
another name. Pink Lady is the trademark name. This is uh, Crips Pink. And these are just some of the mini apples. So, if you're interested in apples, get in touch with us. We'd love to learn more. We'd love to see what you're growing. And uh, maybe next year, if you've got something that we don't, you can come and bring it to be a part of our Apple Day, our annual festival that we do every October. Anyways, now to the work. <laughs>